Hello, this is the first video on integration by substitution, um, a technique for doing some uh, of the more tricky integrals. All the ones we're going to do in the first video can probably be done by other methods, uh, such as the reverse chain rule. And this first one here, you can see you could obviously just multiply out the brackets and integrate. However, if I was to make the power, let's say a half, then you wouldn't be able to expand the bracket. So then we would definitely need to use a technique like substitution. So let's just practice uh, using the technique on these simple questions first of all, so you get used to them. And then when you do the harder questions like in exercise 11e, uh, you'll be used to using substitution. Um, now, if you look at this, if you notice, when you differentiate x squared plus 1, you get something that looks similar to x. You get 2x. Okay, So because when you differentiate this in the bracket, it gives you something like this, you know you're going to be able to use substitution for that. So what we do is we let the thing in the bracket, let that equal u. Okay, So if we let u equal x squared plus 1, that is the substitution we're going to make. So the question will now become x and then u and then this dx here, we need to do something about this now. Okay. Um, now if we're integrating with, res with respect to x, as we are, as it says in the question, so in the question, we're integrating with respect to x. That's what the dx means at the end. And all the terms are in, ter in all the variables are x's. Now here we're going to, we want to integrate with respect to u. So we're going to need to turn all the variables into u's. And we need to change the du to a dx. Okay, so to do that, uh, we just carry on over here by differentiating this so du by dx is just 2x we're just differentiating this and then we want to get rid of this dx as i've explained and change it to du so if we rearrange this we can just swap these two around we can multiply du to the other side and divide by 2x so dx equals du divided by 2x so this here can go there okay and so the question now becomes the integral of x u du divided by 2x which is helpful because now these are going to cancel and you can see that we're integrating um, u it's only the u and the two left so it's we're integrating a half u du Okay, you could take the half out if you like of the integral um, because it's a constant. It doesn't really matter. By the way, we haven't integrated yet. Now we've got everything in terms of u. Now we can integrate. You can't integrate until all your variables are u's and you're integrating with, with respect to a u. So now we have that. We can now integrate with respect to u. And so you just integrate u as, you, as usual. You add one to the power and divide by your new power still got a half at the front there and you need to put plus c down so the final answer if we if we deal with the twos you're going to get a quarter u squared but instead of u you need to replace u with uh what we actually use for the substitution so instead of u squared we're going to have x squared plus one all squared plus c so that is the answer to that question. The original question had all x's in, so it's important you make sure the final answer is in terms of x and there's no use in your final answer. Now the next question, we can also use substitution. If you notice here, when we differentiate this, we're going to get something similar to the numerator in fact it's exactly the same isn't it so that means we can use 
substitution. And similar to the last question, we can do the same substitution. We can let u equal x squared plus 1. So then du by dx is 2x. And du divided by 2x is dx. And so the question will now become 2x over u dx. And we can swap that dx for this. And the question is now 2x over u du over 2x. And so these are going to cancel. So actually, all we have to do to integrate now is we're just integrating 1 over u, which is going to give us learn u plus c. And don't forget to put um, the x's back in. So the final answer is learn x squared plus 1 plus c. Here's another question. Now, if you look, if you look at this, if we differentiate the denominator, you can see that we would get two cos x, which is very similar to what we've got on the numerator. So again, if, if we let the whole denominator be u, hopefully we'll be able to cancel out the cos x's. So let's give that a try. So we're integrating cos x and we're going to let u equal the denominator 3 plus 2 sine x. And so that's u. This is dx. So du by dx is going to be 2 cos x. Rearranging this to get dx on its own, we'll get du over 2 cos x equal dx. So this replaces that. So the question now becomes this du over 2 cos x. And these are going to cancel. This will cancel with this. And so we've got the integral of 1 over 2u du. Um, it's up to you how you do this, but I think it's helpful for the, these kind of questions to take any constants out. This is the same as doing the integral of this. So I've taken out the half to make the integral a bit simpler to do. So if we do that now, uh, when we integrate this, we will get a half learn u plus c. And so the answer is going to be a half learn. And then we've got to put all of this back in. So learn 3 plus 2 sine x. And then you've still got the plus c down there. And one more example. Uh, so this example here. Now this is a slightly uh, harder example to decide what to let u equal. Remember when you're deciding, sometimes in an exam questions it will say by doing the substitution u equals so and so, so you'll be told what to let u equal in an exam question sometimes, but not, not always. So if you're not told, you need to decide what what could u equal. u has to be something that when you differentiate it, it will cancel with, with the other term in the equation to make the integral simpler. So what I mean by that is, if you were to let u equal cos x here, you differentiate to get sine x, but then it wouldn't cancel 
with all of this. It would only cancel with one of the sine x's. So it's no use uh, letting u equal cos x. So you might think about letting u equal sine squared, but that becomes quite awkward to differentiate and um, it won't just cancel with the cos x to make the integral simpler. So the thing you should let u equal in this question is if you let u equal sine x, just sine x, not sine squared, when you differentiate, you'll get cos x, and then that cos x will cancel with that cos x, and then it will be easier to integrate. So let's go ahead and do this integral now. It does take a bit of practice deciding what to let u equal for your substitution, but once you've done quite a few of these, um, it becomes a lot easier to decide what substitution to do. Okay, so we're going to do this substitution over here. Just put it in brackets. So then if we rearrange this, uh, du over cos x equals dx. So we can replace that with this. And I shouldn't have written sine squared here really because we're, we're doing the substitution. We're letting u equal sine x. So really I should have written... Um, instead of sine squared, I should have written u squared um, because we're doing the substitution. And then this is replacing this. So we've got du over cos x here, which is, you can see this is going to work out nicely because these cos x are going to cancel. And you don't have to take out the 3, but I will do. So we're integrating this with respect to u now. And so we've got 3 times by u cubed over 3. And it's going to be even simpler now because the 3s are cancelled. And so the final answer is very simple. It's just sine cubed x plus c. As with all these in integration questions, you can check very easily by differentiating your answer. So if you use the chain rule to differentiate this, you would get this. Um, so if you've got time in an exam, always make sure you check your answers by differentiating. Here's a summary of what we've done there. Uh, these videos on the left um, are both of this form uh, where you've got the derivative multiplied by the original function um, and so you let u equal the original function uh, so the derivative of this is very similar to this so you let u equal what's in the bracket and the derivative of sine x is cos x so you let u equal sine x and on the right hand side uh, these are both of this form where the numerator is the derivative of the denominator, or very similar, so they will cancel. So in, the, in this case, you let u equal the denominator. Just, it's worth pointing out though, that if you notice, um, as in this question, that when you differentiate the denominator, you get exactly the same as the numerator, then to save time, you can just write down the answer. It's just, it's just learn of the denominator. That's using the rule at the bottom here. So that might be worth remembering. It saves you time uh, in some questions, but only if the numerator is exactly the same as the denominator.